Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day and enjoying the new Season 4 update. And uh, yeah, I guess in today's video, we're actually going to be taking a look at three new glitches that have just appeared out of the blue with the update on Fortnite Battle Royale. I mean, some of these glitches are kind of a little tiny bit useless, but you can actually like kind of shoot through walls and everything on some of them, and it's kind of fun to do. Uh, but I do have to warn you guys that Epic will eventually fix these, uh, so you know, uh, please be careful when using this, and please try not to use it to your advantage, just kind of show them off to your friends and all that kind of stuff. Uh, now, before we get into the video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite guides, videos, all that kind of stuff on the channel. Uh, but anyway, let's get straight into the guides and we're going to be starting off with the first glitch, which is actually near Shifty Shafts. Now, the awesome thing about this glitch is you're actually able to get under the map and shoot through at people above you. Now, you will notice that these two houses here just on the outskirts of Shifty Shafts what have been updated like these never used to look like this it's kind of weird like one used to be a shack and one was this house but they actually added a basement into this house which is kind of weird i don't really know why they've done it i understand what they've added into the basement but i'm just a little bit confused about like kind of why they've done it so yeah maybe we'll see it pop up in a challenge later on throughout the season like visit 10 green screens or something like that you know it's something along those lines um, but as you can see, I'm actually going through the house right now, just grabbing some loot just in case anyone comes. And I've actually got one of my friends in the actual match right now, uh, Raid Kill, who decided to help me with this. Just to kind of show you guys that you can actually shoot from underneath the map at them. So uh, yeah, just a little bit of proof for you guys who are not 100% believing all of it. Uh, but anyway, what you want to do is once inside this white house, you want to go down into the cellar below. And as you can see, we have this green screen kind of area. What we're going to do is we're going to knock out this piece of, uh, I guess, floor on top of us here. And we're also going to knock out this one right here too. And uh, if you want, you can build ramps and everything like that. And you can actually see that I'm actually destroying the items above me, this wall right here. Now, the crazy thing is when I'm here, nobody can actually see that I'm here. They All they see is kind of a grassy pitch, you know, like you would normally see when you walk past a house, just normal floor. But instead, I'm actually able to attack through the barrier and able to shoot. And as you can see, there's my friend Ray Kill right there. And uh, just to kind of prove to you guys, I can shoot him. And he has no idea exactly where I am per se. But uh, yeah, as you can see, um, if you go a little bit to the top of the ramp that I've just went to, you, they can see your head pop up a little tiny bit. But as long as you stay near the bottom, you're free to shoot pretty much anything you want around the map it's kind of crazy actually i mean just as a little tester i didn't really believe that this was like a thing before i went into you know a uh, solo with my friend uh, because i thought like maybe people would see me or something it was just a glitch with a barrier but uh, yeah it is in fact true you can shoot people and they haven't got a clue about where you actually are so uh, yeah it's really strange and I haven't really seen a glitch like this for a while in Fortnite Battle Royale. I think the last one I saw about this was like season one, like halfway through it or something, where you could actually like glitch underneath one of those random shacks that you find in the middle of nowhere, and you could walk under the map, under grass, and attack people. Uh, but obviously, as you're seeing on screen right now, here is what it actually looks like from my view. And uh, yeah, my friend Ray Kill is actually underneath there. He can shoot at me just like you saw right there, and I haven't a clue where he is. Now there's actually something really cool that you can do. You can actually wipe out the whole of the wall, uh, or I guess the whole of the house, so that you can see all around you pretty much. I don't know if that completely works. I mean, I think if you destroy the actual kind of like floor to the left of where you're seeing right now on screen, I think then people can see like what you're doing down there and everything like that. But uh, yeah, as far as I know, that glitch is pretty awesome. Uh, but anyway, we're going to be moving on to a glitch that is actually near the, uh, I guess, the meteorite site. Uh, and this is that Dusty Diva. Divot? Divot? Yeah, Dusty Divot. And uh, you'll actually find it in this little container right here. And this one is a very basic one, but honestly, I've done this once or twice. I got a couple of kills. I actually get two kills in this one clip. But uh, in this side of the map right here, see this little window that I'm jumping up against? You can actually glitch through it and stay in the middle of it and shoot people 
whilst inside it. It's really strange, just get rid of him, get away. Um, but yeah, you can actually build up and get inside of it. And as you can see, this was the first time that I'd ever tried to do it, so I didn't necessarily know how to do it. Uh, but all you want to do is basically turn to the left or the right and actually place down a ramp. And uh, once you place down ramp, crouch, and you'll actually see that you can now glitch through the window. And uh, as you can see, I'm actually shooting people, and they probably don't know exactly where I am. I mean, it's a very OP glitch in my opinion, especially because this area is so populated at the minute that you can honestly sit here and get a poop load of kills. Especially if you do what I'm doing right now and destroy this wall, place another wall right there and close yourself in. And uh, the awesome thing is, if somebody comes in through the actual doorway, you can sneak out through that little window that you've just seen right there. And uh, as you can see, I'm showing you what it looks like from other people's positions. Of course, you know, I'm wearing a red character and I stand out quite a bit, but honestly, if you used a character that was kind of grey or blacky, uh, then this would be perfect for you. Like, you would blend into that, no problem. Like, this one dude didn't really notice me until I started shooting at him. He got one lucky shot at my head, and uh, yeah, as you can see, he kind of went to run on top of there, and uh, yeah. I've, I, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I jumped out and I actually got him from behind. I know for a fact that that was a really douchey move. And uh, yeah, I just kind of did it to actually show you what exactly you, could, uh, what exactly you can do when doing this glitch in Dusty Diva. So yeah, um, but yeah, one more view at this. And I guess we're going to go to the final glitch that I've got for you guys, which isn't that great, but I do believe that they are fixing it. The devs are aware of this new glitch. And I'm going to be showing you in just a couple of minutes. But before we do that, comment down below right now, guys, on what your favorite glitch is out of these two. These are definitely the best two in the game, to be honest, right now, as far as I'm aware. Uh, the next one I'm going to be showing you is a little bit more meh. But uh, yeah, personally for me, I love that first glitch that I showed off. Uh, but as you can see, this next glitch is actually going to be at Greasy Grove. And uh, this is a really cool one because... Basically, the glitch happens where a lot of people walk past. So, you know, if you do happen to find a lot of people around here, you will potentially get a lot of kills. Yeah, but as you can see, I've actually landed at the main camping store in the middle of Greasy Grove. And uh, what I'm doing right now is just kind of get a couple of uh, weapons and everything like that because I was a little bit worried that people were behind me. Unfortunately for me... There was nobody around me. Nobody landed here with me, which is a first. I've never had that before. I was actually going to show off, like, the potential of this glitch or when people, like, don't know where you are. Uh, but as you can see, I'm just getting all my loot and everything like that. And then I will move on to the actual spot itself where we can actually glitch, which is just outside the actual store itself. It's really easy to get to, really easy to do. And... I know for a fact that a lot of people will say that it's a very, very useless glitch, you know, there isn't much to it, but honestly, it's one that really confuses people, and it's in plain sight, and that's what the great thing about it is. So as you can see, this wall right here is, for some reason, in this update, you can actually pass through it, you can phase through the wall, I don't understand why, it must be just some kind of glitch with the whole texture and everything like that, but uh, as you can see, uh, you can walk up and down and stay near the trash can, if you use a skin that kind of looks like and blends in with the wall, then you know, that would be very good for you, and obviously you can switch left and right to the wall depending on where people are coming from, uh, but like I said, you know, this glitch isn't the best one to be honest, but I do know that a couple of people will use this to their advantage in Greasy Grove when a lot of people are around them. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much for that one anyway. Uh, but like I said, guys, comment down below what your favorite glitches of this video. That is pretty much been it for all of the glitches. And I would also like to see, uh, to say, sorry, that the uh, Season 4 Battle Pass giveaway is now over, guys. I will be revealing the winners in a video later on today or maybe before this video. So be sure to check out the channel. I'm not 100% sure when exactly I'm going to upload this video uh, per se. Uh, but basically, now that's over, uh, once the 15th comes, I know that... That I've got a lot of money left over after paying bills and all that kind of stuff for my family. So what I'm actually going to be doing is teaming up with a YouTuber friend of mine by the name of Seven, and we are potentially going to do a V Bucks giveaway for quite a little bit of money. I mean, we're talking a good bit of V Bucks here, and uh, that should be just around the 15th or maybe even before if like Seven can actually like put the money forwards and then I pay him back, you know? So uh, let me know if you're interested in that, guys, and let me know how much you would actually love us to give away in the V-Bucks giveaway itself. Uh, but other than that, thank you very much, everyone, for supporting the channel as of late. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoy Season 4, and uh, yeah, I guess have an awesome day, and until next time, 
I mean Star Lord. Oh, see ya.